going to make clocks today and for that I actually draw my foot on a piece of paper and I scaled it down in 1 to 12. This was actually a friend request but I found that it would fit perfect into the watchmaker's den. So here we go, first I am making the bottom piece of the glocks. I am taking my time to make this little indent in the glocks bottom and then I am going to cut it out in the right shape. I kept working on this piece until I was all happy about it and then I went off to bake it. I used my silly gum mold putty to make a mold of this so that I can make as many of these as I need to. When the putty was all hardened I cleaned it up a bit and this mold was ready for use. I took some green clay and I shoved it into the mold. I really push it good in there and then I am cutting off the excess of the clay. When the clay is all flush I am making a pattern on the bottom of the clock so they look real when they're all done. When I like the pattern I am baking this one and I make one more just like this and bake that also. And it's all fine to bake in this mold as the mold putty is made for it. I took my mold putty out again and this time I am going to make a mold on top of the bottom here for the Glock. And I'm going to shape it so that it has the shape that I want um, the top of the Glock to have. It's kind of hard to explain but I'm kind of molding the foot underneath or the shape on the inside of the Glock for having this mold that can hold the top of the Glock while baking. Okay, I hope that makes sense, otherwise just look at what I'm doing. You only have a certain time to work with this mold putty before it starts to harden, so I try to work fast but still neat and then I let it harden when I'm happy with the result. I made my mold so that it is kind of stuck to the bottom piece of the Glock. I'm using my bacon bond to make sure that the baked part versus the new part is going to stick together. I cut this shape into my clay you can see at the top here that it is fitting around the top of my mold. Then I'm cutting off the rest clay where the two parts meet. Then I'm slowly molding down the clay around the tip of the toe and again cutting off the excess. And I'm taking my time blending in the connection between the baked clay and the new clay. I found that my fingers work the best for smoothing out the connection, so I'm just using them for that. Then I cut out a tiny strip of clay from this. It is all rolled out on a setting 7 on my pasta machine. And I place that around here at the top. And I'm just going to cut off the excess on both sides. I have this small hole cutter. It's kind of really really small and I'm going to use that to push out or cut out five small holes here in the front of the Glock. When you like the result then you can bake the shoe and make the other one just like it. As soon as it's all cooled down, I am going to glaze the glocks. That's all there is for this video. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.